Julian Rose and myself and Jadwiga Wapata are introducing to you a new series, Build the Ark. Build the Ark because in this time there is much to be done to make sure that our health and the health of the planet and the health of our children is secure and that we don't follow a pattern of life which is undermining that health and destroying all that is beautiful and valuable. In this series we'll be looking at a number of different issues but we're going to start with food and farming. Why? Because everybody needs to eat every day and what we're ingesting in this day and age is largely of very poor quality, has a very deleterious effect on our health and has an equally devastating effect on the health of the planet. The way we can do something about this most effectively is by joining the farmer and the consumer. At the moment they're split apart. We must cut out the middleman. We must cut out the multinational consumer stores, the supermarkets, and we must cut out global agribusiness because those three are destroying the quality of our food and our health. So what we will be showing is a simple, easy, effective and cheap way of securing your health, your good quality of life and your pleasure in enjoying the beautiful environment which is Poland. Polish people have fantastic potential. Poland as a country has fantastic potential but it's very underutilized and what we're going to do in this series is show how it can be properly utilized and how it can stand up and be an arc in the face of the destruction which is going on around us. Przychodzą, zatrzymują się, jest to niedaleko od drogi, nie jest to ruchliwa droga, ale, ale trochę samochód przejeżdża. No i co mamy? Pomidory, pakujemy pomidory, A jeszcze raz pomidory, szukam większych pomidorów, ale chyba nie ma. A pomidory, tutaj jest wypisana cena, jeden punkt, proszę bardzo. Dalej mamy cukinie, okrągłe cukinie, za trzy cukinie jeden funt. Prawda? Ja sobie to sama liczę, tutaj nie ma nikogo. Jest taka skrzynka, skrzynka, do której się wrzuca pieniądze. Czyli klienci po prostu wybierają towary i wrzucają pieniądze płacąc za nie. No ja jeszcze chcę kupić fasolkę. Na obiad. to mam 2 funty, 3 funty, 4,5 funta. Eee, jeszcze potrzebujemy marchewkę, a taka prosta stola, jak widać, 5,30, kiepiaki, 6,30. skrzynkę, policzyłam, mam do zapłacenia 10 funtów, tu idą grube pieniądze, jak widzicie jest zamknięte, a tu idą drobne. Proszę bardzo. Prosto, spora, świeżutkie, smaczne, 
strony zachęcamy rolników do takiej sprzedaży, zachęcamy konsumentów do kupowania w ten sposób u rolników. So now you see, it's really pretty simple. Almost anybody growing food can set themselves up to sell that food direct to the public. There's no need to think that it's impossible. This is always where everything goes wrong in life. We can do it. And what's more, it's a very pleasurable experience, both for the person growing and selling and for the person buying. So help build the ark by going local, fresh and flavorful with your food. That applies to both the buyer and the grower. In the next part of this series, we will be talking about the state of the planet and the actions that we can take on different levels to ensure a great future for all of us.